In this video, let's take a look at a digital representation of a shop floor and see how Fusion Production allows us to visualize the live status of our facility in terms of workstations we've created and the active job sheets. So by selecting the shop floor page, which is the top button on the sidebar, we are brought to a view of our workstations. As you can see, a workstation can be assigned one of four statuses idle, represented in orange, means no tasks are currently in progress on the workstation. Operating means a task is currently in progress on that workstation and is represented in green. Then we have two offline options. The first is broken, meaning the workstation isn't able to function. This is shown in red and the fourth and final status is offline for maintenance, which represents a workstation that isn't available due to scheduled repair work. In this current view, we can see which workstations have which status, as well as the name, work cell it belongs to, and the number of tasks currently in the workstations queue. By switching the view, we can filter the list of workstations in three ways. Searching for the workstation name, by specifying a tag, or by selecting a specific status. We can also order the list by status, alphabetically by workstation name, or by the number of tasks in the queue. By selecting a workstation, we can see more details about the active task, as well as the detailed view of the tasks in the queue. From here, the status of the workstation can be modified, or the QR code can be printed for use with the mobile app. Any details that have been added to the workstation can be viewed as well as any machine monitoring data that is associated to the specific workstation. This shows an easy to interpret graphical view of the workstation utilization for the last 24 hours. This graph can be filtered by selecting the category headers at the top of the graph. Now let's go back and look at the job sheets view of our shop floor. Much like workstations, job sheets can be categorized into four statuses, and this is dictated by its current task. A not started status represents a job sheet that hasn't started its first task yet. And a waiting status shows a job sheet that has completed a task and is waiting for the next start. Both of these are represented by an orange color. An in progress status, shown in green, means a task on this job sheet is currently taking place. The red color shows an active task on the job sheet has been paused and may require attention. The final status is needs approval. Job sheets with this status are complete. All tasks have been done, but needs manager approval before it can be marked as completed. Again, we can switch the view, much like in the workstation view, and it shows the job sheets as a list and provides filtering and ordering tools. By selecting a job sheet, I can see the progress through the various tasks, as well as the status of the current task. Job sheet details can be viewed, including any attachments, and the status report shows a convenient way to see the progress of all tasks in the job sheet. It also shows a task timeline, which graphically compares estimated and actual completion time. We can print various items from here, including the QR code for the mobile app, the job sheet, which includes details about all the tasks, and the status report. The job sheet can be canceled if necessary, and any required edits can be made. I hope you found this tutorial video useful. Please continue watching the videos in this series for more helpful information about Fusion Production. Thanks for watching.